today we're having Quint's Cheer that are going to be playing the Glenora Bears. Uh, two versus four. So both teams are in the top four and both teams will be hoping to stay up in the top four. So it should be a good battle, especially of the fourth up front. So, game of the round, Auckland Rugby League, and it's SAS Fox Memorial, and we're at the uh, Bears home ground with the head coach of the Glenora Bears about to play Point Chevalier. Now, before we get into that, Rob, I understand you've got a wee bit of um, heartbreaking news to share with the boys today. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, look, um, it's just come to light that uh, in our first round, apparently we've played an out-of-order player, which has uh, definitely affected us on the ladder. It's only just come to... Um, surface now that we've had to uh, look into why uh, it's come down to a clerical area on both parts I think from Mount Albert and uh, Glenora uh, still doesn't sit well with me to be honest but uh, it's happened uh, yeah it hurts uh, but you know it's the first round we'll get on with it uh, our players will uh, find this out today just before we kick off and play our point uh, looking to that to be a motivation uh, um, point of difference to get out there. Uh, we know who we got today, which is point. We're, for, we're ready for it. Uh, it will be a battle of attrition and who holds on to the ball and um, is smart with it. We just have to stay in the grind, believe in what, what we, we're all about and our systems and just make sure that we're playing at the right end of the field. Kick and complete, kick and complete. Um, I know we can do it. But it's hard to get past the two points, but look, we've got to move forward. It'll be testing the character of this group, see how we come out of this today. If we don't, if we're not on the right side of the ledger today, and we know that we lost two points, we've got another shot at the root in two weeks' time against Papakura, and definitely we will be looking forward to that. In regards to your group, mate, um, I understand you know, there's obviously a lot going through your mind now, and you're going to have to address your players fairly soon. Um, injuries with your group, mate. How are you looking sort of coming into the halfway round of the season? Oh, look, it's been a battle in regards to the injuries. We haven't had the same team for two weeks. Um, you know, it's always, it's just, you know, every week it's tough. Tough once, tough on the sense of we've got depth, you know, and now we've got, you know, injuries to key players and uh, these key players, uh, some of the players that came across into the group, but with our depth in that and belief in what we're doing, what we're all about, we do doing okay. Um, yes, injuries do hurt, um, but I have fully faith in not only our reserves players coming up and uh, developing really well, um, heading into the second round and how we're going. I think we're, we're, on, we're on point in regards to the script to what we want done here. Yeah. And in regards to the day, you know, as we said, touched um, at the beginning of the interview, there's a, wee, there's a couple of challenges on. To the senior boys in your group, um, what are you looking for from them today? What, what are you wanting to see? Yeah, look, there's a, there is a challenges right across the board for us. Uh, um, uh, Point Share have got some really key, experienced players. Look, they, they've won the Fox three years running. They've got some very really experienced players who've played uh, pressure footy, played finals footy. But what I'm looking out of my senior group is, is definitely get over the top of them. Get into, into there, get into their heads, stay in the grind. Uh, put them off their game, but look, we're looking for 100, 110% from our senior players and, and just bring our group to stay in the grind, just to be experienced, uh, having them um, on the paddock and just edu just bring our younger ones through that pressure footy. But I'm expecting big things from our um, senior players, nothing but. Awesome, mate. Listen, I know you got a wee bit on your mind. I want to thank you for your time. Good luck for today's yeah, game, but yeah. more importantly, best luck for the rest of yeah, the season, Yeah, awesome. Mate. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, we're the coach of the Point Chevalier Pirates and we're down here at the home ground of the Glenora Bears for the SAS Fox Memorial Game of the Round. About to head out against the Bears, before we talk about that, the Richmond game last week, how'd the boys um, sort of bear up after that match? Was it a, uh, a torrid affair? Any injuries? Nah, no injuries. Um, and it's sort of been the, sort of the first, first, first sort of week that we've played in rain, so um, I thought it was a good game, a uh, real physical battle, but um, no, nah, we pretty sweet after that game so yeah got a couple of guys uh, back today and got a winger back from the twins as well so um, yeah in regards to the Richmond package was that a wee bit of a surprise in regards to um, uh, I'd say how well they went I mean it was probably late down the last 20 minutes of the second half before the boys sort of got away on them mm. um, was that a surprise or were you expecting that sort of uh, 
level of intensity. Yeah, pretty much. Eh? Um, you know, we had spoke, well, we had heard, you know, that they've been playing pretty well the last couple of weeks. You know, they uh, beat Mount, and um, so you know, we sort of spoke about them. Not too much, but um, yeah, look, you know, it's a pretty, pretty. Uh, I've got some good players coming through, you know, so, um, yeah, other than that, you know, we just always, you know, played well and, yeah, it was all good. Turning our attention to this week's game, Glenora Bears, mm. um, anything trying differently for coming into the, today's match or, uh, you know, what's the strategy for today to take on the Bears? No, we didn't really talk about them too much, um, to be honest, uh, we've just got to concentrate on what our game plan is, you know, and if we do that, you know, we should be there. Um, so, yeah, no, nah, you know, just boys are keen to just get out there and play footy, man. And um, I guess, you know, coming up to halfway through the round for this year, mm. uh, you happy as uh, coach in regards to where the boys are at at this point in time? Yeah, happy as, bro, yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, well, listen, best luck for today's game. Thanks, bro. And um, best luck for the rest of the season. Cheers, buddy. All good. Okay, with the uh, Glen Orris captain uh, down here for a game of the rounds, mate, and uh, just coming off against Point Chevalier, tell us your first thoughts about that one. Um, look, uh, we knew it was going to be tough uh, right from the get-go, and uh, you know, Point Chev, quality side they are, you know, they scored within within the first minute, so we knew it was going to be tough. I understand too, there was a wee bit of turmoil coming in, you guys had to go through a wee bit of uh, a chat with the coach today, because I, I got briefed about that before um, kick-off. So in regards to the challenges, mate, and coming into the match, what's the what's the biggest thing you'll take out of today for you and the team? Uh, look, uh, we've got a lot of injuries, but at the same time, we, we can't we can't fall on excuses. You know, we still put our 17 in, and uh, you know they didn't do the job today. And uh, you know I got to put my hand up as well. You know, so uh, you know we'll regroup and uh, get back on to the you know get ready for Papa Crook. Mate, and I see you had a wee bit of a head clash yourself. Is that going to um, have any impact for you coming back for next week? Uh, we'll wait and see. You know, I'll go back to the doctors and we'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let the professional make the call on it. <laughs> All right, mate. Listen, I'll let you uh, chill down with the team. Thanks for your time, mate. Best of luck for next week. Cheers. Okay, with Captain the Point Chevalier Pirates team, game of the round against Glenora, mate. First thoughts? Uh, they're a tough, tough game, uh, especially up the middle. Um, Glenora got a, a bit, you know, a good roll on us up the middle, um, and we sort of struggled to, to dominate the ruck area. Um, you know, we kept them scoreless, but you know, still, still a lot to work on down there, ruck area. Half time, Chad, mate. What was the clear message at that point? Oh, just, just getting back to our completions. Uh, you know, we had a few uh, turnovers in our half um, towards the back of that first half. So yeah, it was just, just about completing and, um, and getting long kicks, uh, especially with the wind behind our backs in the second half. So in regards to today's game, mate, look, I want to say thanks very much for your time. Um, good win to the Pirates and uh, I'll let you chill down with the guys. Cheers. Thanks, mate. All good, mate.